Today is a major step forward for the channel's first build, Alpha Source, because we're installing the first component. It just happens to be the scariest step, and it's CPU installation. We're gonna be installing an Intel Core i9-13900K into an Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Extreme motherboard, and we're gonna do our best not to bend or break any of the socket pins while we do it. If we take our time and read the instructions and we double and triple check our work, we shouldn't run into any issues. And if you do the same, you should be fine too. Now take note that this CPU installation only applies to LGA-1700 motherboards and sockets. Other motherboards and sockets are gonna have different installations procedures and you should reference the manual for that motherboard specifically to learn how to do that. You're going to need three things to install a CPU into a motherboard. The motherboard, a CPU, and proper anti-static PPE. I'm going to put on my anti-static wristband and then we can get started. Let's first look at the CPU and we can see that the CPU has cutouts on both the top and the bottom. These cutouts will have corresponding points on the CPU socket that will protrude into them and lock it in place. The second thing to notice is that there's an arrow here and an arrow here indicating that this corner is going to go into a specific corner on the socket. Moving over to the motherboard we can see that the CPU socket cover has an arrow in this corner. This indicates that the corner of the CPU that has the arrow will go in this corner of the CPU socket. Make sure to remember that it is this corner. Now we can lift the socket lid and see the actual socket. Looking close, we can see that the socket has protrusions on the top and bottom which will sit into the cutouts of the CPU. Now let's double check the manual just to be sure. In the motherboard manual, we can see the cutouts being indicated as well as the arrow and the tabs on the CPU socket are being called out. By following the diagrams and instructions and markings, it's not too difficult to determine how to put the processor in. Now that we know which way the processor is gonna go in the socket, we can place the processor into the socket of the motherboard in the correct orientation. When you're installing the processor, there's no need to put any pressure, just place it in the socket in the correct orientation. Triple check that the arrow is in the correct corner right here. Also make sure that the tabs of the CPU socket are filling the cutouts of the processor appropriately. If any of these things are not correct, do not proceed. Take your processor out and put it back in in the correct orientation and then make those checks again until everything is correct. You can see in the manual that we have the CPU oriented appropriately and that the next step is to remove the CPU socket cover, the CPU socket arm cover, and then close the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the CPU socket arm cover. And I'm also going to remove the CPU socket lid cover. Now we can go ahead and close the CPU socket cover. The final step is going to be locking the CPU arm down. And this step is going to feel a little sketchy while you're closing it. But if you follow the diagrams and instructions and triple checked everything, there's nothing to worry about and we can close it with confidence. The CPU is now successfully installed. Taking your time and double and triple checking that your CPU is correctly aligned in the socket before closing the lid is going to be key to ensuring that this scary step ends on a positive note and not a soul crushing defeat of destroying your equipment. You can check out my video that covers the Intel 13900K by clicking here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.